on today's menu, a delicious and easy recipe that's a cut above the rest. A delicious, plant-based bolognese. Le Homa, that's how it's going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. You're in for a real treat. This is an absolutely delicious recipe, and it's one of the new recipes found in the brand new third cookbook, simply titled Young Man Cooking, which I'll mention in a little bit. As always, let's get started with the recipe first. Pat dry about 200 grams of extra firm tofu with paper towel. Mash the tofu into a crumble with a fork. We're gonna saute this tofu with this amazing smoky, little spicy chili oil made in the previous episode. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check this out, make this really easily at home. Non-stick pan. Medium heat. Two tablespoons chili oil. Tofu. Saute for three to four minutes. One tablespoon soy sauce. One and a half tablespoons dark soy sauce. Saute for another couple of minutes. Set aside the tofu crumble. Man, that's just tofu and soy sauce, but that already smells and looks incredible. Now, of course, just like any of the recipes on the cooking show here on YouTube, it's not the only way of making this recipe. It's simply just one way. One red onion, finely chopped. Four pieces of garlic, finely chopped. Two carrots, finely chopped. Three stalks of celery, finely chopped. Simple enough and we're basically ready to get cooking. As mentioned, this recipe is found in the brand new third cookbook simply titled Young Man Cooking. For more information and take a sneak peek inside any of the cookbooks, check out the Young Man Cooking merch or the Plant Based Sushi Masterclass. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check them all out. Now, let's get cooking. Stock pot, medium heat, two tablespoons olive oil, red onions, Saute for two to three minutes. Garlic. Quarter teaspoon salt. Fresh cracked pepper to taste. One teaspoon crushed pepper flakes. Half teaspoon dried oregano. Saute for two to three minutes. Carrots and celery. Mm -hmm. 
saute for 5 to 6 minutes. Allow the veg to cook and get some nice color. 2 tablespoons tomato paste. Saute for about 2 minutes. One cup red wine. Deglaze the pot and cook for two to three minutes. You can also use veggie stock or try dealcoholized red wine. Crumbled tofu. Three cups tomato puree. Give the sauce a good stir. Place it on a lid half covered and let it simmer on medium low for 20 to 30 minutes. Bring a pot of water to boil when you're ready to cook the pasta. Boil the pasta for about a minute less to package instructions. There should be more than enough sauce for half a pound of pasta, depending on how saucy you prefer. Transfer about half a cup of pasta water to the sauce. Give the sauce a good stir. Strain out the water from the pasta. Cook the pasta in the sauce for about a minute or two. Be careful not to overcook as to not break the noodles. Plate the noodles and sauce generously. Top with some fresh basil and freshly cracked pepper. You can now enjoy this delicious comforting dish with absolute confidence. Boy, is this ever a real treat to make. That just looks so stunning. Man, it is salty, it's spicy, it's so savory, and it has this incredible warmth to it. That tofu crumble really adds this substantial meatiness to this dish, and that dark soy sauce gives that tofu this extraordinary caramel color. The soy sauce adds this salty umami that just goes so incredibly well with the sweetness and kind of the acidity of the tomatoes. The garlic, the onions just melt into this, along with the sweetness of the carrots and the freshness of the celery. Those chili flakes and the chili oil adds this really nice smokiness as well as a little heat which can definitely be adjusted to your liking. It's extraordinary how those noodles just turn red with that sauce and that dainty basil really lifts everything up with this sort of lightness, this freshness, this pop of green color and that really nice fragrance. The pasta water has some starch in it so it helps thicken that sauce and it creates this really luscious, really thick and rich texture. I cannot get over how phenomenal this looks. It is so meaty and of course tastes amazing. Simple, delicious, stunning recipes like this makes it so exciting to cook at home. And if you love easy and delicious recipes like this, then definitely check out or pick up your copy of one of the three Young Men Cooking cookbooks to take a sneak peek inside or to check out the plant-based sushi masterclass or Young Men Cooking merch. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check out all those things. If you're not already subscribed, with that notification bell clicked, definitely do so so you won't miss a single episode.